Hey guys, Mr. T here in another video. This one's on displaying numerical data, but specifically discrete numerical data. So the numerical data, number data that um, can only take very specific number values, so nothing in between. Um, <clears throat> uh, it, these act very similarly to categorical data in that you can display discrete numerical data in a tally frequency table first up. So I've just invented some... Um, uh, data here that we could put into a tally frequency table. Let's pretend the following are scores from a class of 30 um, that took a quiz out of five questions, so these numbers represent the number of correct. So um, how would you fill in a table from scratch? Well, the scores go from zero... Oh man, I didn't even do enough. Um, I didn't do enough uh, spaces. Um, Zero, one, two, three, four. I'm going to quickly draw another line through there. Didn't plan that very well, did I? Um, five. So, this is how you would do it um, yourself. You might even make a mistake like that. That's fine. Um, so, the first thing I've counted is a zero, so I'd put a tally there. The next number over is a one, so I'd put one tally there. Uh, next is three, five... Four, two twos, a three, a one, zero. All right, onto the second line. One, two, three, three, five, five, one. Oop, put it in the wrong place. One, zero, zero, zero. Um, last line one. Two, four, 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 three, three, two, and three, three. So hopefully that adds up to 30. Let's just double check. Um, feeling a bit tired, so I may have made a mistake. Five, five, there's eight. Twelve, um, no idea what I'm doing. Um, there's four there. And there's three there. Is that add up to 30? 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 24, 25, 26, 27, 29, 30. Yes, good. So I'm not an idiot. Um, <coughs> they do add up to 30. So um, I've tallied and frequency put into a tally frequency table those uh, data that I made up. And so um, that's the first protocol, but discrete numerical data can also be displayed on a limited array of different graphs, the first being a column graph. So um, again, like the categorical data, here the different bits of data are along the x-axis and frequency is along the y-axis. So zero, the score of zero happened five times, so five goes between... 4 and 6, the score of 1 happened 5 times as well, the score of 2 happened 5 times as well, the score of 3 happened 8 times, the score of 4 happened 4 times, the score of 5 happened 3 times. So I'll quickly do the bars, I won't colour them in. Alright, so that's a column graph again similar to before. And the other option here is a dot plot. Um, what is that? It's nothing fancy. It's simply a column graph like this, but instead of those bars, it's got stacks of evenly spaced dots instead of the bars. So each dot represents one count of a category. So if the score of zero happened three times, you would put three evenly spaced dots on the dot plot above zero. Um, sorry, five above zero, because it happened five times. Frequency of the score of zero was five. One happened five times as well. Evenly spaced. Two happened five times as well. It's important that are evenly spaced so that you see that they're level like that. Uh, the score of three happened eight times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The score of four happened four times. One, two, Three, four, score of five happened three times. One, two, three. Okay, so that is a dot plot.
Um, uh, once again, the mode is the most commonly occurring um, category, but this time we're not talking categories, we're talking about um, discrete numbers. So your modes here are obviously going to be, uh, the most frequently occurring one is 3, uh, that should be reflected, that should be reflected on the um, column graph, 3, biggest bar, and 3, largest stack of dots, okay? So that is displaying discrete numerical data, hopefully that helps you out, and I'll see you in the next video.